Number seven, lastly, this will help you to be able to leave in good spirits. The eagle, he's a soaring bird. Thank God the eagle's a soaring bird. The eagle is a picture of a person who gets right with God and prays. In Isaiah chapter 40, it said, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God said he'll get you strong. In other words, the eagle is the strongest bird there is. The eagle can fly higher than any other bird. Thank God that's a picture of a Christian who will get right with God and serve the Lord. And let me tell you some things about evil. eagles. They are swift. They, they, uh, they, they, they take their kids. I remember hearing the eagle preacher years ago. He said, hey, have y'all ever seen a real eagle nest over at Dollywood? Lord, them, their nest is big as from here to that wall. That's a bird nest, brother. Big old round thing. You, some of y'all, I mean, you, you, you can put your whole family in there and sleep. Them little baby eagles ain't little. And uh, they, they have them way up on top of a cliff somewhere. Out in, out in West Montana or somewhere, and they said, them mother eagles will raise those mother, baby eagles, and she'll go get food and bring it to them, and get food and bring it to them, and one day it's time for the little eagles to learn how to fly. And you know what that mother eagle do? She'll look and say, now listen, I ain't feeding y'all your whole life. It's about time y'all learn how to fly and make it on your own. You ain't gonna sit around here and lay on the couch and play video games all day and expect me to feed you. Y'all listening to me, ain't you? It's funny they got more sense than a lot of people got. You got a call, you got a four-year degree, and you're still living in my basement. Get out! And she'll take them baby eagles and throw them out of that nest. Five thousand feet up, and they just go straight down. Like that, turning flips. And that eagle said, hey, Mama, Mama, I can't believe you done that. And you know what they said that thing will do? They said that mother eagle will let that thing fall a couple of thousand feet. Lord, of God, make me want to shout. And all of a, she got her eye on it. She ain't worried a bit. And all of a sudden, she'll swoop down through there like a big jet, buddy, and scoop that baby eagle up right before it hits the ground and take it back up there till it can fly on its own. Glory to God. How that's exactly the way the Lord does us. Sometimes he'll, kick, he'll, he'll make us want to do it on our own. But if we can't, he'll be there to pick you up, brother, if you can't make him. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's what an eagle will do. She's a soaring bird. You know what else an eagle will do? They said, if an eagle, if a prey gets after an eagle, a ravenous, ravenous bird or something, going to chase it. You know what? When it's, when, it, when it's carrying its young or something, eagles have two sets of eyes. And, and they, they got these little lenses. They can go, like sunglasses, something, and go down over their eyes. It's weird, man. Of course, that all evolved. You know, that all evolved, if you believe school teachers. Uh, by accident, pure accident. And anyway, it, those eagles got them two sets of eyes. Whenever she needs it, you know what she can do? They said when something gets after them, a prey gets after them, that eagle will turn and look at the sun. And brothers, you'll turn them like that and fly right straight into the sun. Just a dead, and them that follow her can't stand the light, and they abandon chase. Oh, my Lord, listen to me this morning. Lord, for an old country boy like me that needs help from God, listen, sometimes the devil gets after me. Sometimes the world tries to make a bit. I know where to go, buddy. I know where to go. I head right straight for the sun, the S-O-N, and my enemies can't follow me there. There's a hiding place. Thank God there's somewhere we can go where the devil can't get us, y'all. Woo, hallelujah. You can go to the rock that is higher than I. That's what an eagle is. Guess what else eagles do? Eagles are completely monogamous. When they get married, they stay together until one of them dies. <clears throat> How dumb humans are. Poor old mama, eagle, he'll stay right there with her. Now when she dies, he might go find her. I don't know. But they stay, they stay together. They don't say, I don't like you no more. I like him at work because he's hot. <laughs> yeah, that's what he used to think about you. So they got to know you. 
That's why you can't stay in a relationship. It starts up, blah, like that, and then it just dies down from there on. An eagle is monogamous. But he mounts up with wings. Now, let me tell you one more thing, and I'm done. You know what an eagle does? Have you ever seen pictures? Or you might have seen it. You might have had the privilege of seeing it. I seen them when I was preaching in Montana. My goodness, preacher, we'd be going down the road, and I'd say, Lord, what's that? There'd be 1,500 elk just running down through the pasture, that tall, about twice as big as our deer. Thousands of them just out there. I said, who owns them? Nobody. Go out there and shoot you some if you want to. There's, there's all kinds of animals everywhere. They go hunting at night for mountain lion just for the fun of it, just to shoot stuff. And, and I, he said, look over at that eagle. And there was a fence post, and there was an eagle. Honest to goodness, that eagle from the ground was that tall. Their wingspan's eight feet. From here to Jimmy right there. That's some wings there, brother. And that eagle was that tall sitting on that fence post. And you know what they do? You've seen pictures, you've seen on TV. Way, way, way up there. And they're just doing like this. They ain't even flapping their wings. They can fly for almost forever without ever even flapping. They say that eagles' wings are so big and heavy that if they had to flap their wings all that way, they couldn't do it. But you know what they've learned how to do? They've learned to get underneath that current. And sometimes they'll sit and not even move until the wind starts blowing. And they say, there's the wind, and they'll catch that wind. And they know how to do this way and that way and turn, turn around, go the other way. And, they, and they, fly, they, say, they say they let the current keep them up. They let the wind guide them. They let the wind hold them. They don't do it in their own strength. Are y'all listening to me? They don't do it in their own strength. They ride on the wind. Somebody tell me what the wind is the type of in the Bible. Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, a Christian, a strong Christian, we can't, I can't do this on my own. I'm not strong enough, buddy. I love it when I get up there and just ride the current, buddy. I tell you, people, sometimes people say, Brother Danny, how in the world do you do all that? You, I, I, get, I go somewhere and wait on the Lord and wait till the wind blows, and then I just ride the current. Yesterday, we had a bus right down here yesterday morning. I had rushed right here. There's people standing here waiting on me to do a funeral, a wedding. Same spirit. And I came in, and I done this wedding. <laughs> Some friends of mine stood right here and done that wedding. And I said, and they said, can we take it eat? I said, I've got to go. I said, I've got to go. They said, why do you have to run? I said, i got a funeral. This man over here, raise your hand over our brother Wayne. His, his mom passed away, and I went to do, I said, i got to go in Hickory in about 45 minutes and do, a, do a, his mother's funeral. And I got a, well, I, st I stopped at the store and went in there and grabbed the first sandwich I seen. And they said turkey and cheese. I said, that's enough. And I pulled up and ate it going down the road. That was my dinner and drunk water. And I mean, and all, you say, how do you do that? I just, I just hold my wings out. And he carries me. Now, you'll never, ever be a good Christian. Just, Doing this, just trying to fly. I can't get nothing done. I try to witness it. Don't work. I try to. Right, listen, brother. Learn how to get with God and wait on the Lord until the Spirit of God works in you and you can, you can get above your problems and ride that current and you'll be a lot better off. Amen. Amen. That's Bible birds. Each one of them could be a whole sermon. You saw yourself in one of these this morning when that book speaks it's infallible on every subject you heard stuff and learned stuff this morning that you won't get in any college or university in America because they leave out God and everything that's spiritual and think everything's natural 